In this video, we're grabbing the paddles and giving you that zap you need to pull you out of that style rut. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel is to help you look like the very best version of you each and every day through your style. Today, I wanna to talk about how to pull yourself out of a style rut if you've been in one. Now, how to know if you've been in one? You gotta go watch part one, okay? I did part one, this is part two. So part one, linked in the description box below, we'll also put it in the cards, okay? Part one is all of the signs that you are in a style rut. That should be where you start. In this video, I wanna talk about how to pull yourself out. So all the solutions to that style rut. Option one, clean out your closet. How many times have I talked about this? When I was working as a wardrobe stylist, seeing clients one-on-one, -on -one, one of the services I offered, closet editing. Closet editing means weeding out the old and outdated pieces in your closet and reorganizing your closet so it looks like this beautiful boutique-like oasis. If you look in your closet and you don't know where anything is, and you got tons of stuff jammed in there and you don't know where the good pieces are, then it's time for a good old fashioned closet edit. I have done several videos on this topic. I've also done several blog posts on the topic. We will link our most recent posts in the description box below for you to check out if you want, you know, just to know the criteria of like how to know when it's time to get rid of something, how to know what to part with, what not to part with. And as a reminder, I think it's important to think about this. You wear 20% of your clothes 80% of the time. So I know there's a tendency to try to keep everything, but it's always better to lean it out and keep it simpler so you can see all of the pieces you really love to wear all the time. The second way that you can pull yourself out of that style rut, get inspired. This is a good one, you guys, and totally underutilized. I think it's one of those things that we don't, ah, we just don't think about, right? Use Pinterest, use me, use my blog, use other influencers' blogs, use Instagram, screenshot things you like, use a celebrity. You can pick a celebrity that you love that wears clothes that you would really admire and you find inspiring and also maybe has a similar body shape, body type, height. For me, let's take two examples. If I'm looking at like Gwyneth Paltrow or Kate Hudson, it'd be much smarter for me to save Kate Hudson's outfits because she is similar-ish height and build to me. Gwyneth Paltrow is like six feet tall, so that's not it's not the same thing, right? I'm 5'4". Pick a celebrity icon. Do use Pinterest, because Pinterest is just teeming with outfit ideas. How often do you use that word? Teeming! And then three, you can follow an influencer or save, screenshot, whatever, influencer's outfit ideas. Another way you can get inspired is if you have access to a city, just sit in a kind of nice neighborhood where there's a lot of foot traffic and watch people walk by. I mean, some of the best style inspiration I've ever had is just being and living in New York City and seeing other what other women put together. I would get so inspired by that. And same here in Madrid. I mean, I'm totally inspired by the style here. Women are much dressier than we are. They seem much more effortless than Americans do. It's like a totally different vibe and I love it. I love it. I am completely inspired by that. The third way you can pull yourself out of that style rut, very simple, two words, go shopping. You don't wanna just do any kind of shopping. There are two different types of shopping that you should do each and every season. First, as you're like, oh, I know what's coming, I know what's coming. It's like Aaron's voice is in my head. Yes, it is, because I must say it every single video, just about. Buy your basics first, buy those wardrobe basics. What are your basics? I give out the free checklist, Link to subscribe to my newsletter is in every single description box. Sign up, you get access to the freebies. There are tons of them. Even a hypnosis session now, which is really cool. Get your basics first. Make sure that each season, like your white shirts are really white and not yellowed around the armpits. Make sure that your white tees are really white. Make sure that everything fits and flatters your body, okay? I walk through all of the criteria in the, cl in the closet editing video that I talked about earlier. The second type of shopping is trend shopping. So it's a really easy way to add some excitement into your wardrobe is to try a new trend. This is an area where I feel like as we get older, it gets harder and harder and harder to try trends. And I see this even with myself, I feel it, right? Like I'm like, can I wear that? I don't know, I might be too old for that. Uh, wrong answer. Okay, try them. Who cares? Like the beauty of getting older is that you don't give a rat's poop about what other people think of you, okay? 
basically, I mean, yeah, you do, you do care still, but um, let's be real. <laughs> but you care a lot less. So take advantage of that freedom and try something new. It's fun. It's meant to be fun, okay? Wear the trend. Just wear it in a way that makes you feel comfortable and confident. Wear the chunky lug sole boot. Wear the baggy denim. Wear whatever speaks to you. And if you want to know what this, season, this season's trends are, I did recently do a whole fall fashion trends video that we will put a link to below in the description box as well as in the cards. One other thing I wanted to mention about shopping is that you can easily add one statement piece to your wardrobe that season to infuse a little bit more excitement and inspiration and bust you out of that style rut. So maybe it's just like an amazing moto jacket or an amazing blazer or an amazing coat, okay? It really doesn't have to be this whole, like I, I'm buying a whole new wardrobe thing. It can be just a few strategic pieces and all of a sudden you have your mojo back. You have that spark back. That's what we're going for. We want to just pull out of that rut and get the spark back. The next way is to wear color. Color is hard for some of us. I mean, we love our neutrals. We love our blacks and whites and our navies and blushes and grays and taupes and browns, all of those yummy, beautiful neutral shades, but color is so sassy, right? So I wore color today to show you an example. It's not crazy. It's not nutty. It's just a little pop of color, all right? It's very Spanish inspired. That's why I'm wearing it for you today. Try a top with a color, try a handbag with color, try a pair of shoes with color, try a lipstick with color. It doesn't always have to be clothes. Uh, just add some color to your wardrobe. It's okay to stand out a little bit. It's fun to stand out a little bit. Don't shy away from the color. The fifth way to bust yourself out of the style rut, layer it, layer it just a little bit. So maybe like vest, Sweater vest, that's really popular this season. Again, fall fashion trend video, that's one of the ones I mentioned. Could be blazer, could be moto jacket, could be suede jacket, could be blouse underneath your sleeveless dress, could be outerwear, could be duster, cardigan, I don't know. Just add a layer. Layering looks really thoughtful, strategic, and put together. I know layering can sometimes add warmth, which we may not wanna do, especially if you're going through menopause and you have hot flashes. What you can do instead of actual layers is you can do the like the faux layers where it's like a two-in-one, like a two-in-one sweater blouse. You know, there's so many two-in-one options now, like Alice and Olivia has a ton where it looks like there's a shirt underneath the sweater or a bow blouse underneath the sweater. There are cuffs, you know, like Veronica Beard blazers has all those dickies that look like a two-in-one. Thinking about layering that way if you're concerned about the bulk and the heat. The next way that you can pull yourself out of the style rut, challenge yourself. What do I mean by that? Say, I'm gonna wear one piece every day for a week that I haven't worn in a year. Is that crazy? Is it nutty? Not really. It might take a little extra effort, you know, but it can start sparking inspiration. Okay, well, here's a piece I haven't worn. How am I gonna style that? Here's a piece I haven't worn. What do I wear that with? Okay, so it gets you back into that mindset of actually styling your your clothes, styling your wardrobe. And that can add that little extra pizzazz back to your style. Another challenge example would be to wear the same black dress, like let's say one day a week, but style it a totally different way. Like one day you wear it belted, and the next week you wear it with a blouse underneath, and the next week you wear it with a blazer over it, and the next week you wear it with booties and tights and a crop jacket or whatever. You're taking that same piece and you're styling it multiple ways and picking a day of the week when you're gonna challenge yourself to wear that in a new and fresh way. So I think giving yourself that challenge and that little competitive spirit can help pull, pull you out of the style rut. The next tip is something I've talked about a lot. And again, I think it's one of those totally underutilized things. When you're wearing an outfit that you really love and you're like, dang, I look good, woo. You know, you got it going on that day. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a picture of yourself in the mirror and then save it on your phone. Put it in a special album for fall clothes, fall outfits, okay? Same thing, next time you're wearing something you love, take a picture of it, save it in the album. Same thing, next time, save it in the album. So you create this album on your phone for each season full of outfits that you really love. 
And if you don't feel like you have enough clothes to do that, then again, you can go to your inspiration, your style inspiration, like the celebrity icon, the influencer, whomever, to find those outfit combinations that you love and get inspired by those. The other great thing about the lookbook on your phone is that when you have those days where you're feeling like either rushed, you're too busy, you don't have the brain space to think about it, you can quickly reference that album and like pull out an outfit in a pinch, okay? It's also a good idea, and this is something I've talked about before, to have that, that style uniform or that signature style so that on those really crazy busy days, in addition to your album on your phone, you know like, oh, here's my signature in your head, here's my signature look, and I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go with the, the jeans and the booties and the, and the blouse and the, and the blazer. That's my look and the belt, done. The next way you can pull yourself out of the rut, discover new brands. I am always discovering new brands and when I do, I get so excited. I'm like, woo, I wanna see what else they come out with. So there was one like a couple season, seasons ago. Do you guys remember my big giant puffy sleeve dress that no one liked but I love by Rotate? So that was one of the brands or I discovered. I was like, this is so cool, I love this brand. Stout is another one that I love. Colt Gay is another one, Gaia, Gaia, I don't know. Mage is one that I kind of rediscovered here in Spain that's in uh, their department store here called El Cortes in Inglés. And that's a, a French brand. Farm Rio is one I just saw recently uh, on a couple of different sites and I really love like all the color and the prints. It's just really beautiful. Significant Other is a brand I discovered recently that I love. They have these gorgeous dresses, one shoulder dresses. I love Zhivago. I'm always inspired by them. There's all these brands that I'm discovering all the time that really do add that spark or that style inspiration that I'm searching for and so thinking about yes I know frame works for me yes I know rag and bone jeans work for me yes I know NYDJ works for so many women but step outside of the brand box right discover new brands and new designers because that is what's going to bring that that spark back to your style that that little extra something special to your style next is to take a risk and I did talk about this a little bit already with the color section but Taking that fashion risk, again, like why wouldn't you is the question. Like what do we have to lose? Who cares? Most people are so caught up in their own little bubble, they don't really even notice what people have on. That's the sad truth. <laughs> so if something makes you happy and makes you feel like a little sassy that day, like wear it. As long as it's not like gross or letting everything hang out, try it. I'll give you an example. So recently on our road trip, we were in Virginia, I put an outfit together. It was an ALC crop top with a shiny blazer and a pair of baggy jeans. And I sat there and was like, I don't think I can wear this crop top. My, my stomach is all dimply from, you know, skin stretching out and skin laxity or whatever from kids and age. And I don't have a stomach that looks perfect, right? Can I really show a little sliver of my stomach? And then I was like, but I really like this. I like the way it looks and I like how it's just a tiny sliver. And I just, it felt cool and fresh to me. So I wore it and it ended up being something I really felt great in It made me happy. And it also was a look that was featured on whowhatwhere.com, which by the way was a bucket list thing for me and came about organically through a relationship that I, I have with um, a fellow influencer. Her name is Melissa Myers, by the way. She reached out to me, wanted to get together in, in California. We got together, we shot together, and then she said, hey, do you want to do this thing for Who What Where, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yes, that's amazing. And so we did the thing together and then they reached back out to me and asked me if they could feature me. So yeah, that look was on whowhatwhere.com which is a massive website. I think you get the point. Take the risk, try something new, <laughs> try the trend. The other thing I've been thinking a lot about lately is 47 years old, I just turned 47 in July. What am I waiting for? Why do I care? Why, why wouldn't I do the things that I wanna do? Is this a midlife crisis? I don't know, maybe. It's like midlife awakening, I think. I don't, I don't think it's a crisis. I call it an awakening because I just feel so much freer. I just, I don't really care, right? I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. I'm gonna just do me, be me, right? And I want you guys to do the same. I want you to feel the same. I want you to feel free. I want you to do and wear the things that make you happy. And the last way that you can pull yourself out of that style rut is to update your hair and makeup. Yes, it's a complete head to toe look and simply updating your hair and makeup can really add that little spark that I'm talking about to pull you out of that style rut. I did fairly recently cut curtain bangs. They're getting a little longer now. 
uh, that I haven't had a haircut or had my hair colored in a while. This is my natural color, by the way. Curtain bangs, very low maintenance. I did a video on how I style them. It feels very fresh and modern right now. And just that simple shift with hair can make such a big difference. Same with makeup, like try a new lipstick shade, try a new eyeshadow color, try a new mascara, try magnetic lashes like I have on right now, try um, something new. And that can help to elevate everything, bring it all together, add that polish, add that spark, and just get you out of that style rut. If you guys are interested in learning more about my family's trip to Spain and what we're up to, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm posting when I can over there. And also don't forget that if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.